Medicine, medicine, open up and let us in. Medicine, medicine, down the hatch and fun begins. Med Nothing like a quiet day at the pharmacy. Hey, pasa, Kika. Hook me up with some Pedialyte. I had a wild party last night with Charlie. Oh! Oh, yeah? Skipping studies and damaging organs again? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You wouldn't be saying that if you got to do uppers and downers with alien Elvis. What? You partied with Elvis last night? See? Anywho, back to reality and not jealousy. You know you don't need a prescription for Pedialyte. <laughs> Save the fake scripts for the real meds, dummy. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. I'm out of it and have to drive to Mexico to pick up something for Charlie. Since when does Charlie have money for pickups in Mexico? He said something about finally getting his student loans. So the U.S. government is really funding cocaine trafficking. I really need those acid loans to hit my account. Oh, you have a dollar, by the way? Oh, yeah? Need to get a new computer? And books before classes begin? And the last time I loaned you a dollar, you never give it back. No, I have a business that needs funding. Yeah, you're not supposed to give it back when a single dollar is loaned. It's an unwritten law. But come on, I want to buy a pack of Starbucks. It helps with my jitters. Yeah, okay. Here's the dollar. Now let's hear about that startup idea. Thanks. Okay, so I know a guy that goes to Mexico a lot. Yeah, I know him too. We are both friends with D, Charlie. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Point being, he has a guy that can get a pound of Lapura for 10k, which is the exact amount of loans I am taking out this semester. So he picks it up for me, and I mix it 25% Pura, 75% baking soda, and before you know it, I am up 30k after a few college parties. Vince, repeat. Before the semester is over, I'll have made two salaries in a single college semester. You usually waste four years and lose 100k for a worthless diploma. Whereas I'll be up half a million in no time. How's that for a startup? Maybe you should talk with an academic advisor about this one. Or a youth pastor. Ah, come on. It's just a cooler version of CVS. Plus, if I get caught, I'll just do a deal with the CIA and I'll have a full-time government job for the rest of my life. You thought this out, eh? Yep. Been up three days on blow, planning it out. <laughs> now it's up to me to deliver. No need outboys, my friend. Need to cross the border. No puedes entrar ahora. I don't speak Spanish. My point exactly. We aren't letting ex-Mexicans back into Mexico. What do you mean you aren't letting Mexicans back into Mexico? This is my country. You are now considered a de-Westerner. What is that? It is a deserter of the Western world and its ideology. We no longer want you back in Mexico. Picha peteo. A Taco Bell representative will be happy to escort you back to America and treat you to a Baja Blast and the new Cheez It Crunch Rep the Supreme. Are you fucking kidding me? No, senor. I am as serious as a Mexican soap opera talking about cancer with my newfound lover. Please turn your car around and go back to your new adopted country. Papa Mexico don't want you no more. Ah, uh, fuck you. Fine. I'll just use the postal service. Excuse me? Postal service for what? Calm down. It's a band.